you know, Uncle Richie going to get a snake bite? And, well, you know. you know, well, you're following the whole Disney model in that almost in every Disney movie, somebody dies. Well, so, yeah. Yeah. So why not? Why not? Yeah. Why not? Maybe you'll die. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll, take, we'll bring Uncle Carlo and maybe mm-hmm. he could get dysentery or, you know, a yeah. snake bite or the yellow fever, something like that. From the Crush Studio in sunny Florida, this is the Disney Crush Podcast. And now your two Tempest in a teacup, Dave and Tony Ann. On this week's The Disney Crush Podcast, intellectual property. Is there too much IP in the Disney parks? We have some ideas about IP that we'd like to see and ways to expand the park without using intellectual property. Original ideas, maybe. Yeah, we're recording early because I'm going to Disney tomorrow. Yeah, that's cool. And who are you going to go see? Mandy Malinowski. Um, Mandy Malinowski, the Minnie Mouse mama. Mm-hmm. We're going to be um, hanging out by the pool and the parks and with the kids. Hey, that's good. Pool time is going to be good because I saw, well, it's not going to be till next weekend. Next, Not this coming weekend. Yeah. No, yeah, this weekend. This it's going to be freaking hot this weekend. Yeah, it's, it's going to be really, really hot. It's supposed to be 100 there. <laughs> yeah. So we are hanging by the pool. That's right. Um, yeah. yeah. We did We did, We did. did want to go see Dreams That Soar at mm-hmm. Disney Springs, but we're seeing crazy crowds, like mm-hmm. insane crowds. Not just, it, we, we saw that on opening night, but it's continued. If you can... I would recommend doing the second show at 1045. There's a nine o'clock show and a 1045 show. A lot more families go to the 945 and, and don't make it to the 10, the nine o'clock and don't make it to the 1045. So 1045 is probably your best bet, but we have kids with us that, that are going to have trouble staying up that late. So Haleo has come out with two options they have a tasting menu where you sit on their back patio for $79 and you get 13 courses, which is actually a good deal because when Richie and I did the tasting menu inside the restaurant, it was, I want to say 12 courses and I want to say it was more than $79 a person or maybe it was, I was around that. But, um, so it's a good deal because you get, you get to sit outside in the hundred degree weather and, <laughs> Mm-hmm. And watch the light show, uh, the drone show. Do they have a pool? No. Oh, that's too bad. You could jump into that water of the Saskagoula River. Yeah, people have done that. So <laughs> remember that lady who was yeah. uh, who was bathing topless yeah. a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they have another deal. They have a side patio, and when the dreams that soar first started. Haleo was just letting all their guests that were dining there go out to this patio. Well, after the first week, Haleo caught on. Gee, why are we letting all these people go out there for free? Mm, (laughs) They are now charging $35 and they have like high top tables out there and you have to pay a $35 cover charge and then any food and beverage you buy on top of that. And of course, Mandy and I decided, well, maybe we'll do that because with the kids, mm-hmm. the kids aren't going to do the 79. They're not going to eat all every. So with the $35 package, we could pick and choose. Right. So we will pick things that the kids will eat. We're going to try it. And mm-hmm. and from what I've seen, the viewing is actually better in that that section because it's outside and the patio has some obstructed views. There's some poles and things. Uh, so we'll see, but if I was going with you, I'd want to get the, the $79 package. Really? Yeah. Okay. Cause you've never eaten a Haleo and I'd like no. you to have no. the experience of the menu. Although you wouldn't need it now anyway. So well, next time we hook up in the parks, we'll, we'll go do it maybe. Okay. 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 It's a date. When are we going to hook up in the parks again? Let's be honest. I don't know. It's been a while. I know. Yeah. So, um, so that's that. There was one other thing I wanted to tell you. That's going on in the parks. It must not be that important. <laughs> well, you should make notes. 
See. Oh, mm-hmm. Tiana's Bayou Adventure. The cast, the cast member previews have been bananas this week. The the ride apparently keeps breaking. Mm-hmm. Um, there was apparently a fire at one point, but apparently Splash Mountain used to have issues with fires, from what I'm hearing. Uh, so we all thought, oh, this this preview is going to be a piece of cake for them because it's an, a ride that they already know and they it's already run. But apparently it's not a piece of cake. Apparently it's yeah. uh, giving them trouble. Yeah. I hear so, the new animatronics are not working very well. Yeah. I, I think I may cancel my Father's Day reservation. Let somebody else have it and spend the day with my husband. Yeah, I might not. I, I Yeah. And I think we're scheduled to go over there, but I'm not sure if I even... I mean, yeah, you're scheduled to go there Friday, and I'm scheduled to go there Sunday. Yeah. Friday might not be too bad, but I don't know. I'll have to see. Yeah. Think. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. So we'll see. But that's next week. Mm-hmm. That's actually when this podcast comes out, I think, yeah. if I'm cal- calculating right. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think you're correct. Yeah. We'll have to figure it out, but um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep my reservation or not. So I will cancel it and bless somebody else with my reservation if they want it. So, and I will do the same. I will not yes. just let it go into the ether. I'll do the right thing. Hey, I'd like to give a shout out to the, our top 10 countries that download us. Do you oh, do good. That? Yeah, please do. I think that so I don't think we do that enough. I mean, when there's more than 10, of course, but because they're all over the world, it's really crazy. But uh, number one comes in at, what do you think, Tony Ann? The Uruguay. US, of course. No. What is it? The U.S. Yeah, we're well, number one. I mean, of course, it's oh. the U.S. So oh, we yeah. get the most downloads in the U.S. Uh, number two is the United Kingdom. Cheers. Number three is Canada. Merci beaucoup. Uh, number four is Mexico. Gracias. Uh, que asombroso. Uh, number five is Germany. Danke schön. Number <laughs> six is Italy. Grazie. Number seven is Spain. Gracias. Number eight is Sweden. Talk. And number nine is Belgium. Donk you. Coming at number 10 is Australia. Cheers, mate. That's uh, that's kind of crazy all over the place. And there's a, and we, we, maybe we'll do the, the another 10 next week. All right, David. Next week. I sent you some questions earlier in the week uh, to discuss. The, a lot of people criticize the parks, especially Epcot now, for... Just just using IP, intellectual property characters in all of the attractions now. There's no original ride ideas. Like you think about Soren. There's no characters. You don't need characters. It's just the exhilaration of hang gliding. That right there, imagination. They, they made a, a new character just for that ride to discuss going through your imagination mission space spaceship earth this is all original ideas that don't have to have characters in them maelstrom was an original idea that didn't have to have characters el rio de tempo so that kind of thing so is this the end of disney having original ideas that don't involve movies and their characters if I may, I think Pixar comes out with more original stuff, I think. Yeah. Um, and look, Bob Iger said that Disney will invest more in IP-based attractions in its parks. He did say that. In fact, he mm-hmm. said it in two th- this year, 2024. He stated publicly, and I quote, almost all future Disney parks, attractions, and lands will be IP-based. Well, then there's our show. We're done. Well, he, he That was it. a quick show. Yeah. 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 Um, so but, thanks, but, Iger. <laughs> but IP isn't a guarantee, Tony Ann, for success, but it's been very profitable for Disney. Yeah. Um, and and I think if you deviate from that proven model. Michael's here. Yeah. Michael's very excited because Michael's going to Disney tomorrow. Oh, I see. He wants a calendar, Dave. He wants to get a calendar at Disney. And I had to explain that it's only June, that next year's calendars are not out yet. They usually come out around August. And we have our friend Karen with her ear to the ground. The minute a calendar shows up in a gift shop, Mm -hmm. he will have it. That is not a good enough answer for him. He wants a new calendar and a Sharpie ASAP. Okay. Well. hmm. Right? Yes. And it's crickets. He has nothing to say. (laughs) 
because I I just put them I just I just laid you it just all out, out there. there. You put a, pretty much. I just laid it all out there. I explained it yeah. why he can't have one yet, and uh, but he's yeah. dancing next to me now. Did you eat your dinner, or you still haven't eaten yet? Dad made really good pot roast tonight. So after I said that this is really riveting podcasting, Mike. After 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 this house after this house. After the hotel, what? After magic. After magic, okay. May I have a new sponsor and a new shoppy, please? Smash down. <laughs> he said, after Magic Kingdom, can I have a new calendar and a new Sharpie, please? Splash down. Well, he did say please. So. Was it yes? Was it yes? Was it yes? That is a yes. yes. The minute the calendar comes out, we will get you a new calendar. All right, Mike? Yes, yes. All right. Can you let us record the podcast? Because we have more packing to do so we can go. After the podcast, let me get a calendar. After the podcast, yeah. After the podcast, you can have a new calendar. Okay. After the podcast, uh-huh. you can get a new calendar. When they come out, the day they come out into the store, you will get it. Okay? All right. You're welcome. All right. Go have your dinner so we can. So maybe maybe I'll give you a piece of Dominic's birthday cake. Do you want a piece of Dominic's birthday cake? Or you want something different? Or you want one of those cones in the freezer? Oh, happy birthday to Dominic. It's his birthday today. Yeah, Dominic's 21 as of yesterday. And his his buddies from work took him out and he had a margarita and he didn't like it. Ooh, really? Oh, how can you yeah. not like a margarita? I think that was his first foray into tequila. Oh. So, so was- Wednesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday, yes. All right, let me and Uncle Dave record. Come on, call I'm going to call Dad. Oh, I got to yes. call Dad. Yes, oh, call oh, Dad. Oh, crap. 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 Oh, Michael's minute. Oh, gosh, that was great. All right, so, uh, Dave, what were the so questions? Anyway, so, what I, I was saying that, okay. it, you know, yes. it's not, IP is, isn't a guarantee for success, but right? It's been profitable, like I said. And if you deviate from that proven model, uh, you get stuff like, I don't know, Artemis Fowl, Wrinkle in Time, Strange World, John Carter. Well, John Carter's mm. really lost the rights to that, but to mm-hmm. Edgar Rice Burroughs. But anyway, you get stuff like that, right? Um, yeah. I, I think that, listen, Disney figures, why take the risk? Let's just regurgitate an already established moneymaker like, I don't know, Moana maybe? Which yep. I love, and I'm glad they're doing because I, I'll be there in November. I'll be the, when as soon as it comes out, I'll be there. But it it's a low risk, high yield mm-hmm. uh, for their shareholders, and it keeps their share you know keeps them happy. The shareholders happy. If if they can't come up with any original stuff, what do they do, Tony Ann? They just buy already established mega money makers. That's true. Like Lucasfilm <laughs> and the Star Wars, the Five that made billions. <laughs> Well, David, I sent you some questions specifically about the park, but you know, well, I'm not done inside- yet. I'm not done talking. Oh, about you still these. have more to talk about? Yeah, I know. I'm, but Dave's talking a lot now, isn't he? Yeah, um, he is. Uh, Star Wars film. Well, I just said about the Star Wars films. The five they made billions over the top mm-hmm, over the years. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've got Marvel now. They uh, acquired 20th Century Fox, which planet that's Planet of the Apes, and Planet of the Apes just came out with a brand new one, and I think it's probably in the it might be number one or top three f- movies right now. And that was the first ape that was released under the Disney 20th Century Studios. You just mentioned a minute ago, what w- will they ever come up with something new? They have mm-hmm. so much in their pocket, in, in their backlog of material to work with that, look, if it's not broke, why fix it? It's working and it's been working. Would I like something original? Yeah, I think we all would like something new and original. We we kind of long for that kind of thing, something new, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Well, Michael's very excited that Inside Out Two is coming out on June fourteenth. He's he's beyond excited. It's June now. He kept saying he kept saying it's coming out in June. It's coming out in June. So on Saturday when it was June, he was <laughs> let we gonna go see Inside Out Two, and it's like no, it doesn't come out for two more weeks. Mm-hmm. So maybe we'll go see Inside Out Two instead of. Going to see Tiana's Bayou Adventure that weekend. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. So we'll see. It'll be the it'll be the weekend this podcast comes out. So it'll be right after that. So okay. Are you done with your with your information? You're very uh, informative. I think so. I think I'm well not done, but 
You want to talk okay. about what kind of Disney IP deserves an attraction? Or what do you want yeah. to talk about? I personally dabbled. Now, last week's podcast, I already talked about what I think could happen in the American adventure with our mm-hmm. friends, the Muppets. So I'm not going to go there again. And there are things that I've we've already discussed in the past several years ago on a podcast. And we have some new listeners, so they might not have heard. One of my ideas was in Morocco to put a Soren style Aladdin's magic carpet using the technology of Soren, but you're flying on a magic carpet ride. That was an idea I had years ago. And, and a idea that is said often is back in Canada to do some kind of log flume with brother bear, Mm -hmm. but I, you know, brother bear, it doesn't get the love that it used to get. I think it's people don't like Phil Collins as much as they used to. Mm. But so that that's old ideas I had. But I did come up with an idea because the new section in Animal Kingdom is going to be tropical Americas. It's going to be all south of the equator, tropical Americas, you know, and what better IP than up? Because that's where they go in up with the with the balloons and the house. They go to South America. I think that would be really cool to 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 simulate riding in the balloon in the house, you know, with the balloons, traveling to South America, getting chased by Charles Munns, getting chased by the dogs. Maybe maybe Kevin is in there somewhere. But I think up would fit in perfectly with the new theming that they're bringing to Animal Kingdom when they demolish Dino Land. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I, like that. I think so too. I, like I was really excited when I thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good ride. I was very proud of myself. Did you come up with anything, Dave? Well, did I mention how much I love Mandy Malinowski? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. And it was, she's with Minnie Mouse Mama. It's the MinnieMouseMama.com, the best travel advisor out there. If you need, if you need a travel advisor, minimasfarm.com. Okay. Uh, with that said, I think they should put a cocoa ride in the Mexican pavilion. Do you want them to? You want them to take over the Mexican pavilion with cocoa? Yeah. I and I and this is where man. See, I I'm I'm showing my love for Mandy so she doesn't get too mad at me. But I think they need to get rid of the uh, three caballeros. Yeah, she kind of loves that Donald Duck. I know she does. I know. But I think if they put the, a cocoa ride in there, a cocoa inspired ride attraction. I mean, that whole area, the La mm-hmm. Cantina San, de San Angel. Uh, that's, well, that's the quick service is the cantina. Yeah, right. So it's the inn the sh- is the one that's inside and okay, the Hacienda is the one that's a, that's, that we ate at. Yeah. The, Las ha- the La Hacienda de San Angel. Mm-hmm. You got La Cava in there. Mm-hmm. You got the mm-hmm. Jose de Margarita Chosa, the outside with the margaritas, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It's kind of a unique area because that it area is. is it's kind of unlike any other area in Epcot in that the Mexican pavilion, the pyramid, it kind of bleeds over into those other little areas, you know, the restaurant. Yeah, it kind of the, goes the, around the corner. Yeah, it kind of it's it, kind yeah, of like it's it, I feel like you're really immersed in that whole area. So I think that they need to I I know I'm sorry Mandy, but I think the three ca- it's time for a change and a cool cocoa ride in there. It's going to, it would be like a uh, dark ride, of course, and use the mm-hmm. water, mm-hmm. but you could go like, go through the land of the dead, maybe. Mm-hmm. And then he would get thrown in the, in the water and left for dead from his great, great, great grandfather. Who's a, a, a mean, mean man. And Disney, cause Disney likes to spray you with water. They like mm-hmm. when you do that. Kind of they stuff. Like so of course you'd get water, sprayed yeah. with water when he falls in the water. Mm-hmm. And then you'd end up maybe in the stadium and he's singing. And then it would take you back into the land of the living where everything's cool. Now he's back mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. his, with Coco and all his. Family. Yeah. You know, spoiler alert, that wasn't really his great, great grandfather. Oh, I know what I'm oh, saying. Okay. He was a mean man, but yeah, <laughs> he was very, yeah. Yes. Well, he, once he got the picture put together, then they found out who he was, you know, who was real. Right. Yeah. Right. I get it. I lost it, Dave. I yeah. lost it. And I still do to this day at that, that final scene. Mm-hmm. It's a good one. It's a good, it's a, that was a good movie. That, that movie just gets me. Okay. You want to do the Coco thing. Now there was, there have been rumors that that was going to happen. There was, when they did that D23 before COVID and they were going to give us the, 
Mary Poppins ride and they were going to give us the new spaceship earth and they were going to do all this stuff. They had that pavilion. They had in the Odyssey building, they had that mock-up of future Epcot of what Epcot was going to look like in the future. And there was a gigantic guitar on the Mexican pyramid on the outside. And people act like that never happened, but it did. They were in that pavilion where they had that model on the Mexican pyramid was a gigantic guitar. And to me, what does that say? That says Coco. So oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Yep. Well, make it happen. All right, David. What country in World Showcase deserves an attraction? And what would that attraction be? And this didn't have to be IP. It could be, but it didn't have to be. Did you have one? It's uh, Coco in the Mexican pavilion. I'm sticking. <laughs> I'm sticking with that. One. <laughs> now I've looked in. I've. I've. I'm really into that nerdy stuff. I like to watch canceled projects. There's. Uh, there's a YouTube channel. There's one. Bright Sun Films is one that talks about canceled attractions. But there's another one that is more in depth about canceled attractions, attractions that were supposed to come that never did undiscovered Epcot or I can't think of the word I'm looking for abandoned like yesterworld. It's called yesterworld Mm -hmm. and it looks into the abandoned ideas and it looks at, it looks back at ideas that did happen, but it also looks at ideas that never came. It's called the, it's called yesterworld. That's the channel on YouTube. And they talk about the German pavilion was supposed to have a Rhine river cruise. And it was supposed to be right back there where you go get your pretzel bread pudding where that where that quick service is. That wall was supposed to break through and there was supposed to be a a river cruise back there. The Japanese pavilion was supposed to have a Mount Fiji. It was supposed to be and it was supposed to be similar to the Matterhorn in Disneyland. It was going to be like a bobsled style ride. Uh, And that never came to be. There, there were other attractions around World Showcase that just never came to fruition. Um, so I, I thought about, I wanted to think about something that wasn't IP. And I decided that in the UK pavilion, they should put a ride where you're in a taxi. You're in a London, one of the black cabs in, in London. And you ride around all the famous sites pick it you go through piccadilly circus and trafalgar square you see the london eye you see big ben yeah buckingham palace westminster abbey royal albert hall the london bridge i think that would be really cool i mean we're not going to get the mary poppins ride so give me something there's room back there i know blow out that back man i'm still a little disappointed that that didn't happen the mary poppins ride yeah Yeah. i wonder where they were going to put that were they going to put that where that like were they going to blow back and because behind it i think is you're almost on top of the beach club so i'm wondering if they were going to go back and then over and encroach in that where that building is where the where the best secret bathrooms are you know mm-hmm. the uh the festival building that that building back there between canada and the uk yeah that's i don't possible i don't know I mean, where they were going to put it seems, i mean that's a big area yeah, but I think that would have been good. I think I think if we're going to stay away from IP, that would be an original idea that wasn't IP. I think they need to do something in the American Pavilion. Like a Muppets. Maybe like a Muppets, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Are we going to say no, that every they, week now? They really do need to do something, though. I mean, because that area, again, kind of like the area over at the, Mex- at the Mexican uh, Pavilion, Mm-hmm. That because it, like I said, it bleeds all across the walkway there to the water. That's just a, such a cool area. Yeah. Same thing, kind of over over in that area too. It it seems just bigger, like because you have this the um you have the amphitheater there, and mm-hmm. it just it's it's got a huge area in front of the pavilion. It's really yeah. a big area. It and is kind of lend it lends itself for something that could, could go there. And what yeah. would go there? I don't know. I think your idea about the Muppets is great. I tried to think of something. Well, I'm like, I don't. I, I can't I keep. I keep calling Josh and he's not taking yeah. my call. I think he heard that I called him Count Chocula publicly oh, and he's yeah, a little I, mm, PO'd at me. I did too. I know. <laughs> I, 
but yeah, I think it that would lend itself because it needs something. Because you got to think of people are coming here to the United mm -hmm. States. If I go mm -hmm. to the UK, I want to see something about the UK. I want to hear mm -hmm. their history. I want to see stuff about the UK. If I'm going right. to Australia, I want to see stuff about right. Australia. So when people come here, they want to see stuff about America. So well, you know what's you know what's funny because I was on Facebook recently, and somebody from the UK was coming, and they wanted to go to Cracker Barrel, and people were like, you don't want to go to Cracker Barrel. You want, there, there's so many better restaurants than Cracker Barrel. But they want, you know, you talk to Kevin. He tells you his favorite meal when he comes over here is Denny's. He loves mm -hmm. to go to Denny's because they don't have places like that over there. They do want to go to Cracker Barrel. They do want to go to Denny's. So, so yeah, they want to see American things. They want to go to Walmart and look at the Walmart people. You know, we all think, oh, I, I hate to go to Walmart. I avoid going to Walmart at all costs. They they go on vacation and they go to Walmart. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, well, yeah. that's what they need to do. The American people they put need to put a little small Walmart in there okay. and a little Cracker Barrel in there. Okay, see, that's it. Hmm. Problem solved. Uh, Problem solved. Okay, and, there, and, you and, and, there you go. There you go. And it would be a hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. Dave. Or maybe even a Waffle House. Waffle House, yeah. Mm. All right, Dave. No, the Waffle House could be the quick service outside. Okay. Mm. Get rid of that Get rid of that subpar barbecue place they have there and put in something like a- People yeah, love the Regal Eagle, David. Eh, it's okay. We've eaten there People. one time and it was like, eh. I, I was starving, so at the time it was like, "This is great! Right, <laughs> this is right. so good." And I, then after yeah. I, it digested a little bit, I'm like, "You know what? Uh, mm, mm, not so much." It was but really okay. crowded in it's there okay. when I went there. Yeah, it's okay. It's always crowded in there. David, <sighs> yes, I had one more question for you. Mm, go for, go for it. Did you did you get the did you answer it? Disney's been criticized for too much IP. Uh -huh. Share an idea for an attraction that you would create not using ip we've got to put attractions in this new land tropical americas right it would work in other lands too because there's other rivers so you could go down i'm saying go down this is an amazon river ride but you could go down any other you go down the nile you could go down the yangtze you could go down, like whatever and it would be a choose your own adventure so Kind of like Oregon Trail. Remember, did you remember, did you play Oregon Trail or are you too old for that? Because I know no, you're I pretty old. Oh, well, wow, <laughs> wow, wow. I'm currently well, looking for a But new you know what Oregon Trail is, right? Yeah, I do, do know, know the Oregon Trail. Yes. Okay, so yeah. So right now we have Spaceship Earth and they have this technology at the end of Spaceship Earth and they do cheesy stuff with it and they say, would you like to go to the city or the country would you like to ride in a bike or a space car you know all that kind of a flying car but you can do you could put that now into other rides use that use that technology that choose your own adventure type technology and make an Oregon Trail style adventure down i have the amazon here but like i said you could do any river <laughs> So you could put it in Africa. You could put it in Asia. You can, you know, you can get a snake bite and die. You could get dysentery. Maybe, maybe no dysentery. I don't think Disney, I don't think Disney wants dysentery, but um, oh, you're yeah. The rails. Will you make it down the river with all your people alive? Or is, you know, Uncle Richie going to get a snake bite? And, well, you know. you know, well, you're following the whole Disney model in that almost in every Disney movie, somebody dies. Well, yeah. So, yeah. So why not? Why not? Yeah. Why not? Maybe you'll die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we'll, yeah. Tango, we'll bring Uncle Carlo and maybe mm -hmm. he could get dysentery or, you know, a yeah. snake bite or right. the yellow fever, something like that. Yeah. Well, I, well again, I'm going to go back to the, they're coming here. So and they're in Florida, mm -hmm. we're in Swampland. They need to have like a, one of those big airboat or a big four by four swamp mm -hmm. buggy. They call them swamp buggies, I guess. Yeah. And you go through the Everglades and the alligators and the bow constrictors and all that kind of thing. That had been an idea of mine when they first brought Soren here. It Soren over California. When they first brought it here, it was part of the the 50th anniversary of Disneyland. It was 2005. Yeah, so it was the 50th anniversary of Disneyland. 
the idea was we got all these attractions from other parks. And so they were kind of giving us Soren. We got lights, motors action from France. We, and that was the whole idea. But I thought once that celebration was over that they should have made a Soren over Florida to, so that California had Soren over California and Florida had Soren over Florida. And it would have had, like you're saying the Everglades, it would have had like, the Daytona Speedway, right, the beaches. all the, all the air Force. you know, we have our own air force bases and Naval bases here. So that scene where you're going over the, you know, we have our own, there's lots of stuff in Florida. You go over, you know, the orange groves. We have a lot of horses in Florida. Right. And you could get like, go uh, to Miami, go yeah. to a swarm of mosquitoes or something. Right? Mm-hmm. I had made, a soaring over the world at that time. It's on YouTube. You'd have to like really look for it because it's on my personal YouTube page, which you probably can't find. But I made, and it was all the stock photography. So there's like watermarks all over it. <laughs> Cause I use, I mean, this was long before the, this was like 15 years before the Disney crash. Well, maybe not 15 years before the Disney crash, but like a good 10, maybe, maybe even 12. I probably did it in like 2006 or seven. So is that is that Tony and IP? Well, obviously not because it's all watermarked with other people. Oh, that's true. Right. But I did a soaring over the world before there was a soaring over the world. Mm-hmm. Just for fun, just to show off to my friends on the Diz boards because that's back when I was in the Diz boards. How'd that go over? They liked it. People, was yeah. it well perceived. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Now I make videos for for other people. Mm. Do you who are you making videos for? You're not making it for the Disney Crush. I haven't made a video in a long time. I've I've actually not. I've been I've been focusing on myself with my 75 hard this year. So I haven't made a video since before 75 hard. I made one right after TDC. Well, yeah. That was well, then I think it's right time, around. Tony Anna. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I don't want to do the ones with the pictures anymore. I need to mm. start taking more video when we're friends are around. And I'm always enjoying our friends so much that I don't think to turn my phone on video. Yeah. I don't know how much video I have left on my phone, but I yeah. do, I do. I take a lot of video. Yeah. I want to start, I want to start using more video than, than still pictures. Mm-hmm. And I just always forget to do it. And I'm in the moment. And I don't know, it takes away from the spontaneity of, of being with people when they see you have a camera in their face too, you know. What do you, what do you use to edit the videos? iMovie. iMovie? Okay. But you have, you have a better program now, right? I thought you were playing around with the program. Oh, um, well, yeah, I've been, well, no, I did it for a while. Then I got, then I, it's like everything I do. I start it and then I stop and then I, and if I had kept going, See, that's mm-hmm. my problem. If I would just kept going, but I don't, I get busy doing other things because I have 20 million things to do. And That's I, it. Because you're retired. So you're, you've got it easy now, right, Dave? When you retired? No, no there's no such thing as that. <laughs> Jeez, I think I'm more busy now. Yeah. But I've been using DaVinci Resolve. Mm-hmm. And it's quite the learning curve because I'm just, mm-hmm. you know, I'm all about audio. And video is so much more difficult and time consuming yeah. than yeah. audio. So if you can just imagine. Oh, I know. But. I if had to I, sync up the voices with when I did Kurt's video uh, because some of the audio was terrible that mm-hmm. some people sent me. So we had to fix the audio and then I had to try to sync it back up with the video with the new track. That was fun. <laughs> Trying yeah, to sync, uh, yeah. sync the mouth with the new mm-hmm. audio track that you mm-hmm. edited for me. Yeah. Well, that was fun. But we did it. Yeah, that, we got it that's done. That's what I mean. It's time consuming. Yeah, it is. Got it's it done. No, the stuff. thing I the thing I was most proud of with that video for Kurt, the thing that took me, I don't even know how many hours it took me to make that last scene where he starts in the middle and then everybody else fades in around him mm-hmm. and then fades out around him. Uh, I had to learn how to do it. I had to. F- each one of those little boxes is its own little video. Like you had to like lay it on top of video on top of video to get that final effect. I don't even remember how I did. I know I had to teach myself how to do it. And 
I'd have to teach myself all over again to do it again. I'd probably catch on once because I had done it already once, but um, yeah, I had to like, I had to teach myself how to do that. But I'm, you know, I'm not 50 anymore. I'm 52 now. So (laughs) my brain doesn't work the way it used to. Very exciting news. Richard has said he is going to go back to Disney because he wants to see his friend, Kevin. We were laying in bed. This was, a, a, I own last month, some point. We're laying in bed, and I guess it was right after I got back from Tori's trip, and we were talking, and I said, well, I have, I've got one more trip. I've got my trip with Mandy in June, and then I have nothing else scheduled this year. I said, but Kevin is coming in September, and I need to go over when he's here because I didn't get to spend a lot of time with him last year because there was so much going on with with the group and I was just I had so many people to see and and I wound up losing track of Kevin so I said I I need to make a conscious effort to get over there while Kevin's there and Rich goes well when's he coming and I said September and he's like I want to go and I was like you want to go he's like yeah I, I want to go when Kevin's there I'm like okay and then I told Kevin and Kevin said, is he going to bring the bus? And when I told Rich that Kevin asked if he was going to bring the bus, oh my God, Rich got so excited. And so now I wasn't excited because I was looking forward to staying in a nice hotel with my husband. Now I'm staying in a bus with my husband, but we're going to go to Fort Wilderness. I showed him how much it costs to go to Fort Wilderness. He wants the Mac Daddy premium meadow site. I'm like, okay. That's that's what you want. You could have it. Go for it. And we're trying to get uh we're trying to get one of the girls to stay here so that Michael doesn't so that we could have some a couple, you know, like be mm-hmm. a couple for you know, a romantic weekend. Uh that may or may not happen, come to fruition. If it doesn't, we'll just bring Mike with us. It's not a big deal. So Richard is coming back and I, I think I'm going to get him to get one of those Florida resident three day tickets they're selling right now. So he may even go back yeah, to the parks. Are, that's a good deal. I really would like him to see galaxy's edge. He's never seen galaxies that he's never seen toy story land or galaxy's edge. Oh, let's be like going to a new park. All these places are going to be, yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he, he might jump right back in. If he... He's been to Pandora. Mm-hmm. That was the last new thing he saw. Uh, but he hasn't seen Galaxy's Edge. And so, yeah. Is he a big Star Wars fan? He, he yeah. He watches, yeah. He, he became a Star Wars fan because of me. When I, when we met, he really hadn't, he went and saw the first one of the movies back when it was, when it came out. But I was a Star Wars nerd and I had the whole box set on, back then when we met, it was on VHS, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that got him into it. And then when the new movies came out, we went and saw them all in the movie theater. He watches them whenever they're on TV. He always stops and watches them. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he likes them. Well, he also got into Rocky because of me. Mm. Don't even get me started on Rocky. Okay. We know your love for Rocky. It's a dis- I would go into a full dissertation. I, I do when I talk about Rocky. I know. It's one of the best love stories out there. I know. It is. It's a love story at its core, Dave. You're lear- I, you've learned from me. <laughs> I have. I know it's a love story. I know that. It's a love story. It really is. I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, David, that's about it. So Disney World has too much IP, but according to Iger, it's going to continue, even though I came up with some amazing ideas for things they could do not using IP. Okay. Any but live actions? Ha- yeah. That you'd like to see come out? Any live, like live actions from the, like, did you see that, that live action Stitch? It looks weird. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, they're doing Lilo and Stitch live action. So they've got like mm-hmm. this CGI Stitch and it's weird looking. But why Stitch? They should like. Because people love Stitch. Oh, Dave, I, I don't, I don't get it. I, I love, I loved Lilo and Stitch, the movie, the first movie, but people love stitch i Mm. i love lilo 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 is i think the best character but people love that annoying little alien i don't know i'm probably losing friends for saying that i don't know but yeah people live action bambi people love stitch (laughs) 
Yeah. Or a fox and the hound or something like that. That would be fun. that could you do fox and the hound like like yeah, that would be that's another sad one, Dave. Well, I know, but that's what Disney's all about. Dead people and being sad. <laughs> so why not just keep on the same mantra? All right. Okay. Well, go go get ready for Disney. I yeah. Get packed. You gotta get some packing done. Dave, too. you don't understand. I had all my clothes packed on Saturday or Sunday. I don't what know who I am. Yeah, usually I'm like getting clothes out of the dryer as I'm walking out the door. Well, I put a little pressure on you. I told you, look, we got to record a little early because you're going away. And mm-hmm. you said, well, then I better start packing. I guess I'll start packing early then. Then we can record Monday or Tuesday. And I did. And I did. All I have to pack now is like my toiletries, which are pretty much packed because I probably didn't unpack them from April. <laughs> from Mother's on, Day, actually. In future trips, yeah. we'll just ha- I will just have to say the same thing. We got to record. So you need to start packing early. And then you'll get done okay. early. Okay. All right, Tony. All right, well, David. Say hi to everybody. I'm not sure. I got to go. I was going to come over Friday mm-hmm. and see everybody, but I have to go pick up our brother-in-law. So, when the well, you know, he's like just so busy flit flotting mm-hmm. around the world, being a jet setter. We need to get right. him to come in September. If we get Richie over there in September, do you think we can convince him to come? Uh, you know, it, we might. But the only problem with September, it's going to be so freaking hot. Yeah, that's true. I just, but, you know, but we, but we lounge, Dave. We lounge. Well, I guess, I guess, I, I can stay in the AC. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. And everybody, you guys are gonna be gone. Uh, you'll be there the weekend. You'll be there Saturday. And Sunday. I'll be there. I'll you're come home weekend. Sunday, and um, I should have some new uh, restaurants to talk about. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Maybe I can jump over Saturday. Maybe we'll jump over for the day Saturday. We'll see. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll see. All right. All right, Tony. All right. We'll have fun. Have okay. fun in the parks. Okay, All right, bye. bye.